Hello and welcome again in my kitchen. Today I'd like to show you another recipe. Today I'd like to show you recipe for beef vegetable soup. There's so many different recipes on a beef soup. I'm going to show you today one of them. I'm going to use today minced beef. It's much easier and much quicker. Later on, probably in the next few videos, I will show you a different recipe for beef soup. As I said, I'm gonna use minced beef today, which help us cook all soup really quick. Normally, if you use um, diced beef, you have to cook quite a long time. Depends what part of beef you're gonna use. With minced beef, you need about half an hour and zip gonna be done. But before we start, I'd like to ask you to subscribe my channel, turn notification on, press the bell, share and comment. That's help build me a channel. Also, I'd like to remind you, you've got in here a recipe for beef and barley meatballs. Really great. You can check this one. I'm pretty sure you're gonna love this recipe as well. Okay, I have in here six liter pan and this recipe is gonna be for six liter pan. There is at the moment three li liter of water. We have the boiling water and then I'm gonna show you what we have to do next, step by step, as usual. We need few ingredients to prepare this soup. First of all, we got 750 grams of the uh, beef, minced beef, 300 onions cut into the quarters, four large cloves of garlic, minced, 50 gram butter, 150 gram of the green peas, 200 carrots, 300 grams of diced paprika, red paprika, sweet one, 750 grams of the um, diced potatoes, 400 grams mushrooms cut into the square, can of the um, chopped tomatoes, double cream, roughly about 150 milliliters, maybe 100. We're gonna use seasons as well, which is lavish leaf, ice spices, cumin, garlic, black pepper, lavish leaf, coriander, sweet paprika, olive or oil if you prefer, and also we're gonna use spoon, maybe two, two spoon of um, uh, tomato puree. First of all, as usual, one the pan, Add some olive, about one, two spoons. And then um, some of the butter. I would say about 10 grams, but that's not much important, how much you add, just a bit for now. First of all, we're gonna fry our mushrooms. When our fat is ready, we're gonna add half an onion and fry them for about two, three minutes. Butter has the low temperature of the frying. That's why if you mix with the olive or oil, you can increase frying temperature without the burning butter. As you can see, onion changed the color. It's a bit yellow now. It's time to add mushrooms and boiling water in a pan. We're gonna fry our mushrooms about seven, maybe 10 minutes till they get nice brown color. Mushrooms start release the water and fry a bit. It's time to season them a bit. We're gonna add bay leaves, five of them. 
all spaces, five of them, cumin, one teaspoon, garlic, one spoon, black pepper, one teaspoon, lovish leaf, one spoon, my drum, one spoon. Water start boiling, you're gonna add spoon of salt, flat spoon of salt on the beginning, and the carrots. The mushrooms start frying again after the all water disappear. It's time to add a bit more butter. And I fry for another two, three minutes. Mushrooms ready, they smell really, really nice. It's time to move them to the pot. Now we're gonna fry beef, rest of onion and a paprika. Don't wash the frying pan, leave it as is. They're all flavored. It's dried on the bottom now. Spoon off the my drum. Teaspoon of black pepper, lovage leaf, one spoon, cumin, half teaspoon. And teaspoon of the coriander seeds, grounded. Add spoon of paprika, sweet one. If you like a spicy, you can add spicy. Beef is frying now. It's time to add salt. I'm gonna add again flat spoon of salt. Now it's time to add minted garlic. We're going to add another spoon of my drum, teaspoon of the cumin, teaspoon of the lovage leaf. Try. Mm. Nice. It has to be taste much rich than you normally gonna be eat because we're gonna stick this one into the pan and we have to give that rich taste to the water. That's why it's very important to salt a bit more, to season a bit more than normal. Check the carrots. Yeah, they are half cooked now. It's time to add everything from the fryer pan. But this is not finished yet. And we're gonna add potatoes as well. I give you now a little tip. If you cook any beef stew or goulash soup, or goulash to anything where you're gonna use red paprika powder. If you wanna get that really nice heat of taste and color, you have to fry this paprika. Best on a butter to get really dark. 
and then add to cooking dish. Like I said, it's gonna be a beautiful deep taste of the paprika and color as well. We're gonna add rest of butter, mild butter, butter is mild. We're gonna add teaspoon of the paprika powder and a fry now. Fry the paprika to get really, really dark color. That gave you that beautiful taste. You see? It's almost brown now. It's time to add chopped tomato now. And then everything back to pan. Add some water into the pan. Okay, bring back to boiling. We're gonna cook a couple of more minutes to give it time potatoes to be cooked. Check, taste, add some more flavors if they need. Add some green peas and double cream and that's it. Mm. It's almost what I'm looking for. Still, I'm gonna add some half flat spoon of salt, but with the salt, always you have to try. If it's good enough for you, you don't need to add any more. I'm gonna add another teaspoon of the lovish leaf. Half teaspoon of the cumin. And my drum. One, two teaspoons. Also, I'm gonna add some tomato puree. For now, I'm gonna add two teaspoon, quite a large teaspoon. Also, I'm gonna add teaspoon of the garlic powder. I'm gonna add green peas now. Just literally two, three minutes before finish cooking. Try again. Mmm, that's perfect. I'm gonna cook another two, three minutes and then I'm gonna add double cream. Okay, now I'm gonna add about 100 milliliters of the double cream. If you like more creamy, you can add more. Last try. Mm. Perfect. Okay, soup is ready. As you can see, soup looks great. Tastes exactly the same. It's very really simple to do. I hope you're gonna enjoy this taste. And um, before we finish, I'd like to ask you again to subscribe my channel, turn notification on, press the bell, comment and share. That's it for today and see you next time.